Pink, without knowing who's under center for Baltimore, would you still feel comfortable taking the points with them? Or are you leaning more of a total here? Or is this a total stay away? Let me check something out because I – no, nah, so – so he didn't practice. Lamar didn't practice yesterday or today. I, I remember mm-hmm. hearing someone talk about Lamar Tricky actually practicing. Week. I was like, nah, maybe there wasn't. But actually, Tyler Huntley got in a limited practice yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Full limited. practice on Wednesday. So he may be trending okay. All right. So let's get to this. Like as much heat <laughs> as we give the Baltimore Ravens. And deservedly so, because they lost a lot of close games to begin the season. Like, they're still leading their division, and they're 9-4, and four, which isn't bad when we look at all the teams and the records that we currently have in the NFL and we talk about the parity that we see on a week-to-week basis. That being said, Mr. Trubisky threw for damn near 300 yards in the tub against this team. Yeah. He threw for three picks as well. But, I mean, we're talking about Mr. Trubisky, so that's to be expected. But he was able to sling the ball around a little bit. And even though Deshaun Watson did look like a poop emoji again last week, he actually looked like a slightly better poop emoji than he did <laughs> against those Houston Texans. So I think he's trending better. And I think this could be a game where we could see some points possibly uh, on both sides. And it was alarming to me seeing that Cincinnati was able to shut down Nick Chubb, him only having 34 yards rushing. Um, It looks like another under. uh, But at the same time, I mean, when you have a total at 38, I don't know if I really Mm -hmm. want to mess with that. And when you have a divisional game, you have all these injuries that we're really uncertain of. I don't know if I want to press one side or the other either. So this will probably be one where I hang back. But it should be a good game. i just put it at that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually really like your play of the under. And I know it's a low total, 37 and a half. But Anthony Brown, if he does start at quarterback for the Ravens, they're probably going to lean a little bit more on the run. And then you look at Deshaun Watson, he's completing under 60% of his passes. They're going to rely on the run. Both teams are going to run a lot, which means the clock runs, which means less points are usually scored. And the total has gone under in eight of the Ravens' last 10 games, also eight and four in the last 12 games between these two teams. The under is hit. So although it's low, Jared, would you also lean the under? Because we know these unders this season have been hitting at a really, really high rate. Oh, Lauren. I'm sorry, but I really like the over in this game. You're okay. <laughs> do it. Take the over. Right. Want to swag so, about it? Let's do it. No, no. You're going to sweat. You're swagging me to death. <laughs> you're swag surfing me to death here. Um, all right. Let's, let's, let's just talk big picture for a minute, right? 42 was the opening total last week. And then, of course, mm-hmm. everything that took place on Sunday – with the quarterback injuries and, you know, Deshaun Watson, I agree, Tank. He's marginally better. And I think if he plays marginally better this week, it'll look a little bit more like the Deshaun Watson that we know in his third game back, which I think it's fair. He's been off for two years. It's fair to give him two games, right, before we make a judgment on on, on how he looks big picture. Both of those games were also on the road. He's back at home now, comfortable, more comfortable environment where he's been practicing for the last couple of months. But the total dropped all the way down to 37 and that's where I jumped in on the over. I wrote it up. Um, it'll be in the column tonight that, that, that'll drop on PicksWise.com over 37. It's a two-unit bet for me. And I think, I think it's going to be Tyler Huntley. And that's positive for me. And when you look at this Ravens defense, they've been pretty stacked up against the run. And I think that'll be where Deshaun Watson maybe has his, has his say in this game. Because my guess is the Ravens are going to say, okay, we're not going to let Chubb and Hunt beat us. Beat us somewhere else, Deshaun. And again, if we get a marginally better performance this week from Deshaun Watson, I don't think the market's fully taking that into account. Again, this is a very different Ravens defense than prior years. No more Wink Martindale. They went from blitzing on like 100% of snaps to now they're blitzing on like 10%, one of the lowest rates in the league. So it's just a different scheme. And you saw them struggle down to down against Mitchell Trubisky and the Steelers on Sunday. They were very fortunate Mm -hmm. that our buddy Mitchell Trubisky threw three interceptions. I don't think Deshaun's going to be in that spot. I think the Steelers don't run it as well as the Browns do. And I think the Browns, even though the Ravens are really good and they've keyed in on the run since they brought in Roquan Smith, I think they're going to run it better than the the Steelers did. 
And I think Deshaun Watson's going to play, again, marginally better. Tyler Huntley did what he had to do. Here's the key, J.K. Dobbins. You saw him return and you saw him emerge as a star. And I'll be honest, I don't really think he's going to get a ton of run this week. He only had 15 carries last week. But if he gets 20 this week, he showed the explosion, just didn't quite have the afterburners yet. Maybe not 100%. Yeah, maybe look, he's at 80 yeah. or 90%. But you saw mm -hmm. the burst. You saw how good he is. And he's fresh. And he's fresh. And guess what the Browns don't do well? Stop the run. One of the worst in the league. And Clowney mm -hmm. and Garrett are both dinged up this week. So I could see a world where the Ravens run the ball really well. They take the lead. Deshaun Watson has to match. And they go after this secondary. That's a little bit banged up. And I, I, I really, I think this is a really sneaky good overspot. Weather in Cleveland permitting, of course, thirty-seven is comically low, and and I think these offenses can move it a little bit. And it's not like they both have lockdown defenses. Only one defense is good. So if the Ravens can match, I really think Cleveland might play a little better offensively in this game than we've seen the last two weeks under Watson.